Hi, I'm Mary Ellen Kamiri, Professor of Food Science and Human Nutrition at the University of Maine and the current IFT president. Wild caught is pretty simple, going out and fishing with a pole, fishing with nets. There's a variety of ways fish can be caught in the wild. Farm-raised fish, on the other hand, have been bred and grown specifically in either pen in ocean water or lakes or in special tanks. And so they're more of a farmed crop like chickens or cows or sheep. Depending on, on where you live, the percentage of farm-raised and wild-caught fish can vary. But keep in mind that much of the salmon caught in the Pacific Northwest actually comes from baby fish that were grown in small farms and then released into the wild. In the U.S., the top fish that are farmed are catfish, of course, big southern dish, and trout. In the rest of the world, shrimp and salmon are the biggest crops. But we have many emerging species, including tilapia, oysters, mussels, and a variety of seed products, including seaweed. Most governments now have limitations on how much antibiotics can be fed to animals that are going to be consumed as human food. So the answer is yes, they are using medications, but in most places, the amount of drugs and the timing of the drugs is carefully regulated so they're not in the final food product people consume. There are actually now some genetically modified salmon varieties available, but for the most part, the fish that are grown for aquaculture are produced by normal breeding, traditional agricultural methods, and they may be very much similar to the wild ones. In fact, sometimes that's all they do is take the wild fish and then just start growing them in pens. I think it's actually best for you to buy a little bit of both. There are species that are threatened by fishing, and so you want to be aware of which species are endangered, but not all species can be farmed. So those ones that have to be wild, eat some of those, and also try to find a way to work more farmed fish and other seafood products into your diet. Some people notice a difference in texture because farm-raised fish often get a slightly different diet, and so they might have more fat, which would make their meat a little more tender. And so some people notice that, but there shouldn't be a big difference in the flavor. Well, fish get their omega-3s from e eating little fish that eat algae or from eating algae directly. So in farm raising, we can cut out the middlemen, so to speak, and just take a normally fish-eating fish and feed it algae as part of its feed. So that's actually sustainable in a way that we're not harvesting fish and then just grinding them up to make fish food. This way we can grow the algae in aquaculture and then put them into pellets that are then fed to the fish. So you can have farm-raised fish that are a good source of omega-3s.